Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Holland's Classroom, where today we're going to be doing my math, Chapter 2, Lesson 5, where we're going to be talking about number 10. Now, in your math books, this should be on page 119 to start, and then it goes to 124, I believe. Um, but if you need to go get those or get your book open, uh, pause the video, make sure you have your pencil ready. But for the rest of us, let's go ahead and get started. This lesson is a game changer. So let's pay attention real closely. We've been talking about what do the numbers tell me? Numbers help us to show uh, a, and representation of a group of objects. So when we're talking about 10, this is where we're at. So it says, how many cups have juice? Count them. So what I want to do, as I always do, is with my pencil out, if I can, I'm going to make a little note so that I know which ones I counted so I don't go around in circles, okay? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, you guys thought it was going to be 10. No, this one's nine. So make a ball and then a line. I am number nine. Now what we can do is we could see how many don't have juice and do a little addition, but that's for my older kids. So if you think you're smart enough for it, what I'll do is my empty straw in here, one, two, three, and then put three, curve around and around again. I am number three, and I'm going to cross it out to say that one, those are the ones that don't have juice in them. But if you count them all together, nine plus three, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's, that's the bonus for my other friends. Okay, so let's uh, move on. Oh, they had nine on there. Look at that. Use a model to show 10. Let's see what we got. Okay, so use an object to show the number 10. Place 10 objects into this frame. I have a estimation here, okay? We've talked about this before. This is called a 10 frame. It's a frame that has 10. So I'm gonna make an estimation and say that when we count and put 10 objects in here, it's gonna be completely full. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use counters and I'm gonna use green this time because I'm feeling green. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh oh. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Was I right? Is it all full? It says touch an object and count backwards from ten. So let's do that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All full. Look at that. Ooh, okay, so this is the extending it part. So start at the number five and count until you get to 10. So let's see what we're going to do with that. Hmm. Oh, here we go. So we have your first page. This is what the first page is going to look like. And it looks like there are these leaves around. Um, I can't do anything with the leaves, but I can use these color tiles. So let's see what we're doing here. Um, we need to show the number. Okay, so hold on. There's, well, let me count how many red leaves there are. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then how many yellow leaves? One, two, three, four, five. I counted from top to bottom just to make sure that I didn't go around in a circle. Like I've said before, some of my friends do, and then they get too many. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So look at that. We fill it all the way up. Awesome. Moving on. Okay. So with these soccer balls, they have, they had us do the same thing. Look at it's the red on top and then the yellow on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to count and um, I'm just going to like use my little check over here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then, so the top row is the same as this. So good. Okay. And then there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So each of those balls could have gone in there. If we could have drawn a picture of soccer balls, we could have put the soccer balls in there. But they wanted us to use the colors to show that um, we can fill up a row 
and then use the other uh, color to see if that other row is full. So there we go. There's that. Do we know how to write five? Let's see. It's um, my friends. Can you? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Neck and Tommy put on a hat. Neck and Tommy put on a hat. Neck and Tommy put on a hat. I am number five. So each row has five, but both of them together make 10. So you could say five plus five equals 10. Ooh, we're starting to get into some territory that my, some of my older friends might get into. Um, but let's check this out. Okay, so we're going to use two different colors um, this time as well, just so that we can show um, that from each row. So I'm going to use the top row is going to be red. And then the bottom row is going to be yellow. But let me see. So one, two, three, four. So there's four hockey sticks up on top. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom. So if I wanted to use yellow to represent the bottom row, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. Um, but they are going to ask you to color the top row. So I'm going to switch that one back out. Wait a minute. Well, there you go. Yeah, they're going to want you to do that. So take a look at that. See, I told you they wanted red and then yellow. Now, this, la this is the last one before we get into the territory where you're going to have to start doing the work. So um, again, I just want to stress this strategy to cross off each thing that you're counting so that you don't end up in a circle. Cause I have friends that go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 10. I'm like, there's not that many. There's not that many. So we got to cross them off. So that we know that we're done counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You see exactly. We counted them all because I know that I put a, a mark in there so that I didn't count it again. So we have 10. Good. Okay. So then you're going to use your colors this time. So again, they're going to want you to fill up the one row, one color, then fill up the other row, another color. But you should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when your homework, you're doing your homework, you're going to notice that it's pretty easy because we're practicing the number 10. But I want you to really understand when we're using 10 frames and we have the number 10, you can fill the whole thing. The whole thing is full because a 10 frame is equal to 10 objects. When we're counting objects that go up to 10, you can fill a whole 10 frame. And then we'll talk about later filling that up or whatever. But that all being said, that's the end of our lesson today. I'm not going to do the homework for you. You got to do that on your own, but I will see you next time. Make sure that you check out the link that for the other videos that we're going to be putting out and make sure you subscribe so that you can keep getting math videos like this. But until next time, I will see you later. Bye everyone.